Uh, today we have a talk of uh, Professor Nasir Ghanihadjai, uh, which is named Description of a uh, Low Limit Distribution of Some Markov Chains with Memory. Please. Yeah, thank you. So, title already. So, uh, I, will, I would like to uh, consider some Markov chain with memory too and to describe all limit, discre uh, limit distribution, I will use some methods, apply some methods from statistical physics. So, uh, firstly, sh very shortly about Markov chains. Uh, later, about how using Hamiltonian methods of statistical physics, we can generate uh, mark chain with this finite main state. Later, I will produce some recursion, recursion equations. And uh, later, we will consider very rather simple case when uh, matrix uh, will be transition matrix will be double stochastic. Later, for general case. And finally, to uh, divide, define uh, this, the transition probabilities tensors for uh, mark change with memory too. Okay, first of all, no definition is, of course, uh, mark change is a stochastic process. Uh, we will consider finite state space, where the conditional probability distribution of future states in the process depends upon the present or past states. And the classical mark property specifies this equality. It is the probability of transition to the next state. A simple as one depends only on the probability of the current state as n. That is, we have this equality. And the uh, mark chain with memory to the process satisfying such uh, condition. It is depend from uh, n and n minus one. For simplicity, let us assume so S is uh, the set of integer from one to R. And assume that the chain is a time homogeneous. Mm, then transition probability matrix defined such a way is independent of N and is a row stochastic. <coughs> Assuming again time homogeneity, mark chain with memory two can be conveyed conveniently represented with the order three tensor phi, phi i1, i2, i3, defined such way, defined by this equality. And this phi is called a transition probability tensor. And of course, this necessarily we have the properties of this tensor between zero one and some for us by respect to last i3, equal to one for every fixed two type of I1, I2. <clears throat> uh, as shown in these two books, uh, see nice book of uh, Kinderman and Snell, Mark Friedman Fields in their application. Uh, the theory of finite mark chains with positive transmission probabilities can be embedded into the theory of limit Gibbs distribution as a trivial particular case in the Hamiltonians can be considered as a natural generalization of the transition probabilities or more exactly of their algorithms. That is, we have led uh, this omega the set, uh, set of all configurations, <coughs> ample sample space of finite mark chain with F states. Uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, measure uh, P is a measure on uh, this uh, set called uh, sample space corresponding to homogeneous mark chain uh, with stationary transition matrix uh, and with stationary distribution. We we'll consider the case when all PIJ strictly positive. That is this matrix, the regular matrix. And there exists a unique <coughs> limiting distribution. For arbitrary subset lambda of the set, configuration sigma on lambda is defined 
uh, as learning uh, transformation uh, mapping uh, and for set of such type uh, the probability of arbitrary configuration defined on the set is equal to this well known measure or we can rewrite this uh, using the exponent such way So in the introducing the Hamiltonian, uh, such Hamiltonian, uh, we can uh, we see that only the interaction between neighboring spins are taken into account, and we can uh, produce the same measure. Uh, so now uh, in this case exists uh, when we're considering only interaction uh, nearest neighbors, we have a very simple uh, uh, phase diagram that is. Uh, there exists only one uh, limiting measure. Uh, excuse me, uh, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my question is about the expression for Hamiltonian. Uh, am I right that this is only a formal uh, sum because, uh, of course, it is yes. non conversion? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so uh, this is just formal expression what we have to apply when we want to find a conditional probability of some fixed yeah. con configuration yeah. yes yes yeah. okay. i will show how this is the reality this is formal uh, so this only interaction that's interaction with nearest neighbors neighboring spins so uh, so now last uh, uh, maybe 20 30 years uh, it's very interesting. I studied uh, models with uh, competing interaction. That is, with uh, the interaction of nearest neighbor, also considered uh, interaction of second or third neighbors. So we will use this one. So uh, so now we will add one more interaction, neighbor interaction of second neighbors. Such this is notation for second neighbors. This will notation for nearest neighbor. Uh, let us consider T square, the square of our matrix. And my data will be specified by the following Hamiltonian. So here, interaction of uh, nearest, uh, nearest neighbors, this is interaction of second members. So such model is called models with competing interaction. So a little bit history uh, about models with competing interactions. Firstly, such model with competing interaction was considered on Z2. And this was model is called a -N -N -A -N -I model. That is anisotropic next nearest, next nearest neighbor Ising model, uh, which consists of an Ising model that is considered interaction nearest neighbors and augment by competing next nearest, next second, uh, next nearest, this means second neighbors coupling acting parallel to a single axis direction. That is, for example, on Z2, we can consider interaction parallel to axis Y. Uh, in this case, uh, one of the, uh, this model is one of the simplest models displaying rich phase diagram uh, with uh, some properties like existing modulation points and many special modulated phases. The modulated phase correspond to periodic phases. Uh, there has been a considerable theoretical effort. So on Z2, very deep was uh, to, uh, to study such models was a rather difficult problem. Uh, so there has been considerable theoretical effort to obtain the structure of the global phase diagram of this model in the, this space. Uh, one X is T over G1 and P, this is the ratio minus G to G1. Uh, on the basis of the numerical uh, mean field calculation, these two others suggested the existence of infinite succession of commensurate, commensurate phases, the so called devil's staircase at low temperature. Uh, the mean field picture has been supported by low temperature series expansions performed by also these others, Fisher. This is physical. Uh, papers. Uh, consideration of spin models with model spin interaction has proved to be fruitful in many fields of physics, ranging from the determination of phase diagrams in the metallic alloys 
and exhibition of new types of phase transition to site percolation. And this model originally introduced by Elliot to describe the sensorial magnetic structure of herbarium, the chiral pot models introduced by Oslund and Hayes in the connection with monolayers absorbed in on rectangular substates and others. So there are a lot of papers uh, devoted to this uh, model. <clears throat> They have a rich phase diagram demonstrating countable set of different modulated structures. However, exact, exact solutions for these models are unknown. And most of the results are only obtained numerically. So when these models are defined on Cayley trees, this is a tree that is a tree uh, infinite graph from, uh, for this one from each vertex issue some, uh, for example, k plus one, uh, k plus one edges, uh, and such a tree is called Kelly tree. And such a uh, is consider uh, a similar model on Kelly tree. Uh, and uh, in this case, consideration of Kelly tree allow us to use Method of dynamical systems uh, because it turns out that there are physically interesting solutions correspond to the attractors of the mapping. Uh, this is model which one considers by Panimenius. Uh, 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 this is some interaction of nearest neighbors. Uh, this one is interaction of second neighbor, uh, second neighbor which one belong to the same branch of our tree. Mm. So, and for this, this model, which is counterpart in the Kelly tree of the previous ANNI model, uh, have been studied by Vanimenis and Navashira at all. Uh, so, so now I will use a little bit uh, techniques which one developed by these others to that model. So now we consider the set Z plus of non-negative integers. The set one can consider as semi-infinite Kelly tree of first order. Uh, that, is, uh, that is infinite graph without cycles with two edges assuming from each vertex except for vertex zero, uh, which has only one edge edge, where Z plus is a set of vertices and L is a set of edges. So we'll consider a very simple case. Uh, in recent years, models on Kelly tree has been studied extensively because it turned out that there are physically interesting solutions that respond to the attractors of the map. This simplifies the numerical work considerably and detailed study of the whole phase diagram because becomes feasible. Apart from the intrinsic interest attached to the study of models on tree, it is possible to argue that the result obtained on trees provide a useful grid to the move to more involved study of their counterparts on crystal, crystal lattices like ZD. So now it is not that the statistical mechanism on trees involve nonlinear non recursion equations and are naturally connected to the rich world of dynamical systems uh, under intensity, uh, which one is more presently under intense investigation. Okay. So now we consider this uh, first order Kelly tree. Lambda n is finite subset of Z plus. And Ln, and this is the set of edges on lambda n. So then uh, lambda n plus one, we can uh, rewrite as lambda n union one more vertex n plus one. And n plus one, we can rewrite as ln prime union. Uh, this is set of edges. This is set of edges, edges on ln prime plus edges h zero one, where ln prime is the set of edges on uh, the set shifted from one to n plus one. 
So we will use this equality, apply this equality to produce some recurrence equations. So now below, I will consider the really simple case when state spaces consist of two elements, one, two, which is R equal two. Uh, we consider configuration, this is mapping from Z plus to Z one, two, this is two possible values, one and two. Uh, the restriction of uh, this configuration on finite, any subset lambda n, uh, finite subset lambda n is denoted as uh, sigma lambda n or simple sigma n. Any configuration sigma one can split into two sub configurations. This is no finite part. And this is part on uh, lambda n complement, where lambda n complement is a still infinite set. Uh, so now we will fix some configuration on uh, lambda n complement, and this one is called, we will call as a boundary configuration. It's a well fixing boundary configuration. Then we consider the set of all configurations that vary on lambda n, but fix it on lambda n complement. Not that the set is a finite. The basic assumption concerning this model that we will consider is the uh, following. If we know what is happening outside the finite subset lambda m, of, then we can compute the distribution of configuration on the finite set. Okay, now this is, uh, so now we will consider uh, now real uh, conditional Hamiltonian. That is, we will define this H uh, on a finite subset finite configuration sigma n with fixed boundary configuration uh, sigma bar n, like this one. This is uh, interaction of uh, nearest neighbors, uh, i and i plus one. This is interaction of uh, boundary lambda n and lambda n complement. That is this configuration lambda n, this is configuration lambda n complement. This is interaction, boundary interaction. Well, similarly, the second sum, uh, this is a uh, sum, sum for second neighbors. And here we have two more uh, uh, boundary interaction. That is interaction uh, sigma n on the minus one and second neighbor like this one and this one. So then the conditional gives, gives state on finite subset lambda n with boundary configuration this one uh, to be the measure mu n given by such ratio. So now everything uh, computable, we can compute this one for any configuration um, on this, this uh, sigma lambda n, the set of all configuration. Uh, and sigma lambda n is uh, beyond the set. So now uh, this uh, denominator is called a partition function. Sometimes so it's sometimes statistical sum. Uh, this one is defined as sum of following case. Really, in this case, this is a probability measure. So now we can uh, we will split a set of configuration uh, sigma lambda n into four subsets. Uh, that is, this is a uh, the set of all configuration of lambda n for each one we are fixing value of uh, spin at zero and one that is why considering two dimensional uh, cylinder set uh, where i zero i one is one two uh, then assume so that n uh, this is sum of all configuration from this subset then denoting uh, for brevity z1 is uh, when by fixing fixed uh, cylinder two dimensional cylinder set for which one fixed uh, and value spin one one here value spins one and two two one and two two and of course this is a partition function equal to sum of this four uh, Values. So now we can produce uh, recurrent equation. Z1 prime, this is the same Z11 uh, one, one only defined on plus one. 
uh, yeah, this is now a new boundary configuration. And similarly, we're defining Z2 prime, Z3 prime, Z4 prime. Then we can produce the following current equation. It's very simple. Uh, uh, using our previous uh, form, so lambda n plus one equal to lambda n plus union two and n plus one. We have uh, following four uh, recurrent equations. And uh, follow these papers, uh, we can use, we can renormalize re as follows. Uh, that is x, this is following ratio, y1, this ratio, y2, this ratio. Uh, and of course, uh, when n tend to infinity, this all of them tend to infinity, but ratio will be uh, finite, and we will show so as they exist uh, limit. So uh, using this uh, this equalities, uh, uh, from this equality we have z1 over z1 plus z2 equal to value, and this one is four equalities. That is the ratio I can compute using uh, x and y1, y2. <clears throat> so now we can uh, compute x prime uh, substituting uh, substituting here z2 prime, z3 prime, z3 prime, z1 prime, z4 prime. We, we can produce uh, this equality, this equation, this recurrent equation, respect to uh, finally x, y1, and y2 three unknowns, D1, D. So this one already, uh, D1, this sum, D, uh, D, this sum. Uh, similarly, we can compute Y1 prime, uh, with such qualities, and uh, uh, Y2 prime. So now uh, we already assume so R equal to, and let matrix P is a double stochastic transition matrix. Uh, that is have such form, then P square, square has such form. And of course, in this case, the limiting distribution is uniform distribution with R1 over 2. So then uh, our previous equation has very simple form, X prime, Y prime, Y2 prime. And since Q, Q equal 1 minus P, but finally I have these three equations, recurrent equations. Starting now from random initial conditions with y1, y2, non zero, we can iterate this recurrence relations uh, and observe their behavior after large number of iterations. In the simplest situation, a fixed point x star, y1 star, y2 star is reached. This one is correspond to the stationary mark of measure or translation variant limit Gibbs measure. So using terminology of statistical physics, the set of stationary marker measures is divided into two classes. Paramagnetic, if, uh, paramagnetic phase, if y1 prime and y2 prime, they both of them zero. Or uh, ferromagnetic phase when one of them uh, non-zero. And limit cycle with a period of multiple uh, of distance between sides correspond to periodical periodic mark of measures, or modulated limit Gibbs measure. Finally, finally, the system may remain a periodic, which corresponds a periodic mark of measure or in commercial phase. So now uh, the result, the resultant phase diagram is shown in this very simple figure. So we have, uh, this is a possible value of P, from zero till one. If P equal to one over two, we have so-called ferromagnetic phase. If P greater than one over two, we have uh, period uh, paramagnetic phase. So that is stationary measures. And if P smaller than one over two, then we have periodic or modulated phases. Uh, so now a little bit of calculations uh, using calculus, the transition lines uh, 
uh, this transition lines will be obtained uh, by linearizing the system around the fixed point x zero star zero zero because in this case we have uh, y bar uh, by one star y two star closer than zero then we can compute x star or substituting finally we have such value the variable as x star is unaffected in y1 and y2 and it's a generalized equations are in matrix four we have such generalizing this uh, these two equations we will have uh, this one where a is equal to sum uh, the fixed point is linearly stable if the corresponding eigenvalues have model smaller than one so uh, let us compute eigenvalues this is uh, lambda one and lambda two substituting the value of x star we have lambda one is lambda two this depends on the one variable p so now a plotting graph of this function the lambda one and lambda two we can find uh, so lambda one both of them lambda one lambda two greater than one if p belong uh, this interval zero zero point five and both of them less than one if p belongs this interval and this point p zero point five the stationary non stationary transition point so now let us consider general uh, general i mean uh, r still two but uh, arbitrary uh, stochastic matrix of such form this is p square uh, then we can produce uh, as before the, this current equation where a1 b1 c1 d1 both of these parameters are computed have a very simple form it depends from p and q so then starting uh, again from random initial condition we can iterate as before uh, cancer relations and in this case we have uh, such uh, case diagram this is xsp this is xsq and uh, this uh, from this phase diagram i can say uh, for p belonging f or p uh, we reach uh, stationary or translation variant gibbs measure or mark measure for other cases here m and m uh, we have periodic maybe a periodic uh, mm, uh, here I have verified period till 12, but till 12 we don't have period 12, but uh, this may be here period greater than 12. Uh, but in my program, we are, uh, stopped checking till uh, 12. So according to this phase diagram, for the corresponding Gibbs uh, state is translation variant, then PQ belong uh, set f or p uh, f and we have you can see we have symmetry <clears throat> uh, so of course a uh, uh, very interesting problem to, to for describe this transition line but uh, still uh, i don't have progress maybe later but still I, i'm trying but uh, open question the problem of describing this transition line is difficult for me uh, since the problem of finding fixed points also uh, difficult <laughs> so now <clears throat> let us come back to mark changes uh, memory tool recall that the assuming time homogeneity mark chain well, now this is mark chain I mean, sigma n this memory tool can be conditionally represented by such three tensor uh, that's i uh, repeating the same as before only instead of x put sigma mm. so now let note that uh, this uh, <clears throat> conditional probability we can compute like this one 
and uh, this one also compute like this one ratio. And from these two equalities, I can say so. This is con this conditional probability that is uh, tensor, uh, three tensor. Uh, I can find as following ratio. So, um, so now we have to find that we, we should know how to compute two dimensional distribution and this conditional Gibbs distribution. Uh, by given Hamiltonian, we can find the conditional Gibbs measure. I will show later. Uh, that's to specify the order three tensor. This one. We have to specify the two dimensional distributions. Since we're considering the case of time homogeneity, it is enough to compute this one. Uh, so uh, we consider this still R equal to, and in, for double stochastic matrix, this is a um, measure of this two dimensional cylinder set equal to one over two, this one, where X star is, this is our limit point for consider um, an analytical system. Here, uh, I recall here by one, by two, zero. So the, similarly, we can find all of this for uh, two dimensional distribution. So now in general case, that is, uh, we will have uh, this one, such ratio. So in previous case, y, y, y1 was zero. So now y1 may be any number. <coughs> so now in the case of a double stochastic matrix, we can find the conditional Gibbs measure as follows. Uh, that is why using uh, previous definition. Uh, so we can find this for conditional Gibbs measures. So here, where this one is considering in its boundary uh, configuration. So uh, for general case, uh, we have similar this two. We have to find this two values. So now that's what one can, can, can specify the order three tensor this one. So uh, now we can find uh, discrete stationary Markov measure for Markov chain with memory two for these regions or uh, double stochastic matrix for P greater than one, one over two. Uh, that is all from me. So, if any questions, because I consider only this problem, not more. Uh, so, any questions? <coughs> okay. Uh, thank you. And uh, uh, <coughs> I have a questions uh, related to the uh, approach. Because uh, usually when we consider uh, uh, Markov chain, uh, we suppose that the direction of the time is fixed. There are a special cl class of uh, time reversal, uh, reversible Markov chains. Uh, but when you um, go to the uh, approach based on the Gibbs measures, uh, you forget about this uh, direction of the time. You even need to find uh, something in the back direction, like in the last slides, you need to find uh, this uh, conditional probability of the beginning and under the uh, second two uh, given uh, values. Uh, so uh, what is the uh, a connection because uh, for Markov chain we uh, uh, actually uh, with finite number we have a good theory uh, and uh, we can say that uh, for positive transition matrix it is for sure uh, for sure there exists uh, uh, 
this uh, invariant distribution and we have exponential convergence to this distribution of iteration of the transition matrix and so on. Uh, uh, then, uh, of course, it is related to the existence of the uh, fixed point for your iterations. Uh, yes. yeah. uh, but uh, uh, is it uh, uh, so, uh, it, it, it can can it be related to uh, uh, time reversal case uh, for Markov chains or uh, or not? Yeah. So uh, can we reflect in your picture some good properties of transition matrix of the Markov chains? No. Uh... His, on this picture, I have symmetry. Uh, so, um, for, for, for example, uh, uh, some, uh, when we have uh, so called balance equation for Markov chains, uh, then we, uh, we can produce a Markov chain in backward time and so on. So it is. Uh, it seems uh, natural uh, when you consider such Gibbs measures on the uh, uh, integer numbers, uh, late, uh, on the latest generated by integer num numbers, then it is natural to uh, see some simplification when we have uh, this time reversible uh, case. Here uh, I am considering uh, one dimensional case that is, uh, and uh, um, yeah, the second uh, interaction of second neighbors give me so called uh, no, a chain uh, mark of uh, generally, generally, we have mark of fields with memory two. If mm -hmm. I will consider uh, any Hamiltonian. Uh, which one consists of like when you mean model uh, interaction of uh, nearest neighbors, uh, this one and this. Uh, so in this case, uh, we can say so in this case we have uh, so mark of field because this is uh, Kelly tree that is we don't have here order. Mm -hmm. This is a field uh, with memory two. Uh, well, so now my problem was uh, to consider the same problem for one dimensional case uh, and uh, to maybe if I will here consider interaction of third neighbors put here uh, third power of matrix uh, and that then uh, to produce mark chain with memory three. And so, so um, my main idea was like this one. So, uh, yeah, adding um, uh, interaction of second, or third, uh, competing interaction of second, third of other neighbors, uh, we will produce mark of measure uh, with mark of chain with memory, the corresponding memory. Mm -hmm. It is in this case memory two, but if I will consider third neighbors, here, the memory tree. Uh, so uh, maybe may, um, uh, for me, what interesting was this equality because uh, from this equality, my question was uh, how I can find uh, this tensor. And mm -hmm. to find this tensor, I should find uh, <coughs> conditional distribution for uh, Gibbs measure. Is this one we know how to compute this conditional Gibbs measure, but in this case, conditional Gibbs measure and conditional Mark measures they are the same. And mm -hmm. second problem was to find two dimensional distribution. So this two dimensional distribution, I can say this is a ratio uh, uh, Z one. Give us just a moment. This is a ratio. Um, Well, this one z one over uh, uh, z one over uh, all sum 
is uh, that one over the sum will give me when m get m tend to infinity will define a two dimension uh, distribution for two dimensional uh, cylinder set. That mm -hmm. one over this one. So now dividing everything that uh, numerator and denominator to uh, z1 plus z4, I can produce, I can find, and uh, I can find compute, uh, compute <coughs> this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I understand. Also, let me ask you about uh, the slide where you uh, said about the uh, different uh, behavior of the iterations for this triple X and Y1, Y2. You said that there are uh, some periodic behavior. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, some are periodic. Uh, oh. What does it mean now? A periodic. It means that, uh, uh, what it means, Rico? Uh, a periodic. Uh, this means uh, uh, that uh, where, where this is everything plotted numerically. Mm -hmm. uh, and the problem was if I am checking uh, trajectory till uh, have a period maybe two. If no, I go to check to three. Till 12, because okay. I cannot verify a trajectory for very large uh, uh, period. Mm -hmm. I stopped, uh, checked till 12, but uh, for till 12, I don't, I could not find trajectory with period 12 or less than 12. So this mm -hmm. means, so here and here, uh, all trajectories, uh, they have, uh, either they have period uh, greater than 12, or maybe they don't have period. But uh, uh, don't but we have? Period, then they have I call a period. Uh, can you just show us again the uh, equation uh, for x and yy? Uh, what is the iterations? Uh, oh, which yes. function defines the iterations? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Here is uh, yes with this uh, a. Uh, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, don't uh, we can we can uh, use some linearization uh, near some stationary points and uh, apply uh, some uh, known theory from uh, dynamical system to say that they have attractors they have uh, yes, some yeah this done here I have checked uh, linearize find uh, uh, mm -hmm. and show uh, so for lambda. Uh, and this for the linearization, mm -hmm. uh, I can compute uh, eigenvalues. Uh, the, then uh, when we have this lambda one and lambda two, uh, yeah. which are greater than one, then we, we can for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. I checked. So there are no a, any period, yes? Uh, for P smaller than 0 0.5, uh, mm -hmm. both of them greater than one. And yeah. the, this period may be any, uh, till, I hope to find period maybe four, five, six, like this one. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, this numerical method don't allow us to find such period. Maybe can I explain a little bit for adding model, or for Vanimian's model? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, such diagram was also plotted numerically. Here we are using a step uh, that is starting from zero, I go to zero point zero five and uh, it, this is net this uh, step zero point zero point five mm -hmm. and something like this one was done uh, in the Vanimini's paper mm -hmm. and later he proved so we can find a, a peri periodic Gibbs measure with period four and five but for very very small region uh, which one uh, 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 contained in in uh, our uh, uh, our net. Uh, so this is, uh, of course, similar problem I have here, but uh, this is still open question. So numerically, uh, uh, I checked 
выход на мелкий периодический период с малой связи. Я думаю, что это возможно переводить and get a uh, very nice picture, but only for uh, uh, very rare uh, initial conditions. Mm -hmm. So they are not attractive uh, for all initial conditions. So uh, the same the same happens here. Okay, uh, thank you. Maybe somebody uh, have questions or comments, please. Uh, if there are no questions, uh, thank you again for interesting talk, for uh, bringing us a new uh, uh, view on the uh, such a known probability subject as Markov chain. It is interesting that we can study it from the uh, theory of Gibbs measures. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, for today, we finish our work. Uh, I think that uh, maybe next speaker is me. Uh, uh, yes, I yes, like exactly, exactly. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, uh, see you next week. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.